Hello, hello. Welcome to Craft Illustrations. How are you? Just say hello as you come in so I'll know who's watching. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Gotta turn my volume down. Hey, hey, how are you? Happy Monday, you all. How are you? Glad you're coming on. All right, so today we'll be making something fun and huge. Right? Yep, yep, yep. We are. So I'm just gonna share this on my personal page. So how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Craft Illust Creations. I'm so glad you uh, can hop on in and uh, say hello as you come in. Hello, uh, Doris. Hi, how are you? I'm just pulling up my comments to, just to see you guys' um, comments. To see you all saying hello. All right. So, hello, Sue. Hello, Doris. How are you guys? Hope you guys had a great afternoon. Ah, afternoon. <laughs> weekend. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hey, Pearl, how are you? Thanks for blessing my page, Doris. We'll do it. We'll be doing a unique in a creek today. Yeah, yeah. So, just say hello as you come in so I'll know who's watching. We're using 21 inch today. Something fun and big, right? Like a big flower. All right, I seen Lori do this yesterday, and I thought it looked fun. I haven't had, I haven't uh, made a flower, a huge flower this year yet. So I did make some last year and a couple of years back, and I had fun with it. And I thought I'd show you. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Hi, Charmaine. Cape Britain, Nova Scotia, in the house. Thanks for joining, you guys. You guys, um, spread the love as you come in. If you know what that means. Um, so while uh, we'll have more viewers, right? More followers for me. All right, so I, I saw Lori do this yesterday. I, I, I thought she had fun with it, and I didn't, I wanted to do one too, right? Like big pedals using uh, 21 ends, right? And uh, as well as these pedals that'll be going in. The green, um, the green would be the leaves. I love this. This is like a lolly, lollipop and then this. That's what I'll be sewing you. And in the middle, I have these flowers, right? These metal frame flowers. I didn't know what to do with them. So I thought those would look, th that would look good in the middle. And so, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today on the Unique in the Creek uh, large flower board. So, um, I'll put put in the zip ties as we go, as I don't know what what um, what all looks good. So we'll find out here um, soon. So again, the, these are uh, this mess is twenty one inches, right? Twenty one inch, and I cut I cut them twenty one inches wide for the leaves. Thanks, Doris. Something fun and different, right? And a little bit big. So um, so I'll put the camera down to the board and we'll get started. Yeah. So if you have any questions throughout, you can go ahead and ask me, where did you get your metal flowers? I, I got them from decoexchange.com a while back and I checked this just before I got in, go, went on a live. And just to let you all know that now they don't have any any like that on in their stock so I checked there's there was nothing maybe maybe uh that's where I got them so maybe um they do have them I, I'm not sure I, I checked pretty fast but if you want to go check you guys go in and they craft outlet has has those metal flower uh, uh, signs as well these are 12 inch signs by the way any 12 inch uh, metal uh, woodwork. So what, what she did, I thought she had fun. This is how she loaded the board, right? 
this is how I'm thinking I'm gonna load the board for row this is row one so row two I'm gonna do every other with these green um, so my, my my image of this is probably I hope it works out hi Michelle Oh, Johnny, Johnny's in the house. All right. Hi, how are you? Did I say hi to Be Peggy? I think I did. How are you guys doing? So glad you guys can uh, come in and say hello. So, like all metal, no, uh, not metal, like all flowers, 10, 10 inch, um, you know, using 10 inch, same thing with 21 inch. I just um, take this at a corner, put it down, like this is how we we usually right start with a 10 inch that's the same thing so now here i stretch this right and i make it make like a pleat like that right and then i take take it here and i do the same thing and put these together right you get that and i do the same thing here and put them together you get that and then I put these two ends together and you get sort of like a lollipop shape pedal or I don't know what, what this uh, pedal is called but it's flat and it looks like one of those eucalyptus leaves <laughs> that's what I was thinking that's why um, um, I said th these could be leaves I mean I could I could make the leaves like this too, right? But I want the leaves to be a little different. You're working on flower pots. Kids have to come watch you. Oh, good good to have you here, Michelle. I hope I'm not taking you away from your uh, work. Hi, hi, uh, Sarah, Sarah, Melanie. How are you? How's the family? Just got my first call. I, oh, Linda, wow. Good for you. And how are you feeling, Linda? Feeling okay? I hope you, you, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. I got, I got mine uh, about a month ago, and I only got a sore arm. That was it. I need my second shot in, though. So I can go, go places. Places to go, people to see. No. <laughs> Hi, Tony, how are you? So again, let's do the same pedal again, right? With any 10-inch mesh, you do the same thing. I do the same thing with a 21-inch. This is how we usually start all our pedals, right? For the unique in the creek. Like a triangle shape. You turn it this way, and you, you, you sort of stretch it out a little bit, and then you put it up like that right right in the middle and you take this you do the same thing and this side do the same thing and I'm not gonna measure out how big these uh, leaves are gonna be no leaves are the same size anyway so I'll just eyeball them all right so that's that's the petal the gonna be our leaves that's good, Linda. You, you'll be all right. You'll be okay. Hi, Tony. How are you? Thanks for joining. You, you guys, um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Let's, let's do the other one. I did pre-make some of these. This is, this, it's not going to take too long. So I was, I was setting up. Actually, I, I had to flatten this mesh out overnight. Like, uh, I cut it 21 inches, right? And I, I put it flat right here on my craft table. And I ha I put heavy stuff on it overnight. And uh, because um, um, it, it did curl a lot, right? So it was giving me trouble to make the petals. So I did try them out last night. And I thought I'd, that'd be a, a good way to uh, flatten them out is to put them... Um, on my table overnight. That that doesn't look good. I don't like that one. 
Yeah, so this is gonna be a big flower. Already this board is is uh, measured at between 15 and 16 inches, right? And this is gonna be even, it's probably, it probably won't fit on the door. Yeah, maybe it would. I'm just um, checking to see if this will work out. I don't even know if this is gonna look the way I, I imagined it. Yeah, so um, I noticed uh, like um, when I go back to watch my replays, I noticed a lot of comments that I missed, and and a lot of hellos. I don't sometimes I don't see the comments, so if you uh, don't don't get offended if I don't answer you, it's just cause um I don't see your comments probably filtered, so I apologize ahead of time so what i'm gonna be making is this petal now so i'm thinking i'm gonna put it down like this you do cut a lot of mess at the end when you uh do make make these flowers but you don't need a, as much mess i don't think i'll probably need only um um how many eight of the eight of the green and um 16 actually maybe 16 uh, maybe 24 of the blue. Uh, I'm not sure we'll we get there. I'll let you know Okay, so same thing Turn it in turn it um, um Triangle shape this one this one is not As perfect, but when you fold it it won't so so all right, so here we go So uh, this is how I folded this one right with that shape all right so you, i do the, the same thing with the other one i'm not sure what this petal is called but i'm thinking uh, i'm not sure i forgot a little bad with the petals so that's the shape. that's that's the uh what you do for the uh for this petal the reason why i chose a different petal for that is this notice this one here it almost looks the same as that, right? That's why I chose that petal. Yeah, so no questions so far. I'm just watching. All right. Good, good, good. So let's make... Um, let's do one more petal and then we'll we'll do the, uh, the rest. Because um, you know, who knows, there may be latecomers, late joiners on here and they'd want to know what I'm up to, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this off because I, I seem to have, when I put the heavy stuff on, I I didn't, um, it didn't flatten out right, so. Yeah, all right, so here we go. For the flower petal. Because the, the green ones, uh, I'm calling those eucalyptus leaves or something. <laughs> Hi, Denise, how are you? All right. So we're doing, uh, I don't know, this, I don't know what this petal is called. Keep forgetting. All right, so that's how that is. Right, and fold it in the middle, right? And fold this in the middle, just overlapping a little bit. And then I scratch right there. So yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So how was everybody's weekend? I got a lot done over the weekend. I, I didn't go live because I had a, a lot of projects I wanted to uh, do and um, they've been waiting for me and I, pa I painted most of the time. <laughs> it was very relaxing to paint something, right? And I, uh, what did I do? I filled up my uh, canisters with uh, cra cra gaps and cracks and I made gaps and cracks um patties like this right hold on so this is what i did all weekend right i made one of these foam stuff for my uh for spring projects right and um my tin tin canisters for flower pots and all that so i put foam in there as well but i didn't have enough in there this was my first, uh, first time using this 
gaps and cracks. And I didn't know how much to put. So the, this guy foam here can be up here, right? But I can always use these. Uh, right, uh, foam patties, they're called. So this is what I, <laughs> I did all weekend. And I did also, I painted these signs. I had these signs last year from, uh, sorry, pause for now, from Hot Miss Mom. So I, I painted this, right? A rail, I have three rails still, the hello. I was gonna put polka dots here, but I went and heat, I, I sealed it with Mod Pods and, well, I guess I can't do that now. And a Canada one. <laughs> So those are my projects all weekend, painting and repainting and sealing and all that. Oh, as well as these little boots right here. I got these from Michael's like two years ago. They were white, right? So I colored those. Yellow and green. There's the spring, spring floral projects I wanted to get done this year because I kept these stuff too long. Now I figured it was time, right? 21 inch mess, what did you cut it at? 21 inches. 21, it has to be a perfect square, right? It's, it's the same as t using a 10, 10 inch mess, the same thing. Yeah, those little boots, I like those little boots. I'm gonna have a little, you know, flower floral arrangements coming out of there. Yeah, so that's what I did. A lot of projects I got done. I, I was so happy with myself. So I think I think my thing here is needs needs another blade. So I have used that a lot. Yeah, a lot of projects I got done. So I'm just gonna put the uh, these in every other on row two because these petals are huge, um, ten inches long, and. They come up to seven inches wide. So this, this petal is pretty big. So just touching each other like that, right? Are you seeing this? So I'm just imagining these green leaves here as, you know, those eucalyptus leaves. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Yeah, I cut it at 21 inches. So I did cut eight of the uh, green. And I cut eight, eight of the uh, the blue, Turk, sort of like a sky blue color. Um, I cut eight of those, but I think I'm gonna be putting it every in every one on row three, just to cover up the board, and then we'll see what it looks like when we put in this. Right? Maybe we'll need row four or maybe not so but we'll see what happens there yeah so welcome y'all a little a little fun project for uh yeah it's it's gonna be a nice project for, for a little girl's room or something yeah so this will actually t not take long at all too. This is going to be a fast project. If any of you are thinking of doing, making one of these. <clears throat> oh yeah, I did, I did see Lori. So every other on the row two zip ties, every other. See, I saw Lori make one yesterday on her live on my birthday. She made a birthday one for herself and thought that looked fun and I wanted to uh, make one. I did make a lot of large flowers before and I did sell sell a few of them. But 21 inch mess is really um, expensive, so I didn't want to stick with that. So, yeah. For me, anyways. <clears throat> yes. I, I love I love painting. I try I tried um uh, all weekend. I was like I said I was painting away and <laughs> I I was relaxing. I I enjoyed it. Just something different. 
But I'm not. I'm still not. Uh, still not brave enough to come. Come. Uh, come live to make floral and arrangements and all that. I'm still not. Um, well trained. Um, you know, taught for that to come live. So I don't think I'll be coming on to make any of those. But I'll post pictures. Still learning on florals. Yipper. That's what I did. My story for the weekend. What did you guys do? Any family outings yet? Oh. Yep. They won't look the same, but no, no leaves out that look the same anyway, so that's okay. Test out my Zip tie in. Oh. All right. Yep, so those were my projects. Anybody else say anything? Hmm. I bought, thanks Denise, uh, I bought three yards of material to make them. Material, you mean fabric? You mean fabric, um, Denise? <clears throat> That's the one thing I haven't tried yet is making fabric, um, fabric flowers or uh, one of those tablecloth flowers and what was it? Uh, liner, that liner, what's it called again? I haven't made those yet. <clears throat> There's a lot of things I haven't tried out yet. Oh. To make a wreath. I thought you were going to make a rainbow. A rainbow. Nice. Okay, last green petal. So there's <laughs> what that looks like. That's so cute. So one over here. This one is a little weird looking. Needs to be a little wider. So there it is. Nice, eh? The Michael Pell. Oh, okay, nice. Starts the. Oh, yeah. Starts the fabric, yeah. That's a lot of work. What if maybe I put. I put one petal. One blue petal right there. And. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Or is it going to cover too much of the. If I put it there and there, it's going to cover up the green. So let's not do that. Let's do it like this, the way I explained it before. So in row three, I'm putting every, in every set of holes, I'm putting a zip tie. So that's eight on row three. So I did not cut more. I only cut eight pieces of the blue as I don't know what I'm be I'll be putting on. This one's a little janky. What's wrong with that one? Um on row four. I don't know yet. 
We'll learn together. Starts the fabric. Is that, does that take a long time to, uh, to make fabric flower wreaths, flowers and you know they pro they think they they do they, they start some uh, rainbows too, right? When they make rainbows, they start them too, right? Does that does that take long? I wonder. I don't know. I haven't tried anything like that because I don't have the patience. <laughs> No, I'd probably try it, but um, I don't know. <clears throat> it's probably fun. Like I see, I see lots of some wreathers out there make rainbows, and they they start their stuff, and then they they hang it to dry, and then I don't know how long that process takes, but it looks it looks fun, but it look it looks like it takes a long time to uh, to do. So maybe I'll be interested later. The longest time is waiting for the fabric to air dry. Put it in a dryer; it's not stiff enough. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm putting the petals in. The, this is the folded side, so I'm putting the petals in like that, right? Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Mm hmm. I'd love to see your work when it's done. Um, Denise, where do you usually post your your work when you finish? Unique wreath creators. I'll 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 have to watch out for that. I'll have to watch out for you. Thanks, Denise. For those of you that are just joining, I'm making uh, a day a blue daisy. So I'm just I'm putting this in the center, right? This is a uh, I'm using a 21 inch. So I'm usually with petals. Um, usually are made with 10 inch mess, or, you know, the small kind. But I'm using a 21 inch. So something different and big and fun. And my, my uh, I've made big flowers before, big heats flowers, but not this way. And I thought it'd be fun to come on and show you something different and, and huge, right? Because <laughs> already this wreath is uh, measuring out to be 27 inches wide. So the board was 15, right? 15, 16. So it's it's a pretty big flower. Yeah. It'll fit on a door. Okay. So I'll show you um, how I folded the petal here in uh, after I'm done putting in the other two. It's pretty easy. With 21 inch, you just got to be patient because it, it is big, right? <clears throat> and I did, like I said, I did flatten the mesh out overnight so I won't have trouble with it when I fold the petals. So I, I like, I put heavy stuff on top of the mesh so it'll flatten out. So that's what I did. So it did help a lot when I did that. Good afternoon, Miranda. How are you? Good to see you on here. Mm. All right. So I'll check your, I'll check for your uh, um, fabric wreath on here soon on Unique Wreath Creators. So this is turning out to be a really, really nice flower. So, okay, so we need to fold two more petals, right? Okay, so, so, so this is how I folded the, uh, the petal. So 
we need room because this is uh, 21 inch. All right, curl, curl side up, curl side up. Turn it into a diamond. Fold this, take this, and pull it over to this side. And line, line these up, right? And then turn it this way. Stretch right here. Actually, you don't really want, need to, but I do. And I fold this in the middle, right? And I take this and I fold it towards the middle. And I scrunch from here to here. And there's your petal. Yeah, big petal. Oh, thank you, Miranda. Yeah, I got it. I got it a little bit early. Because. I wanted to, I, I was anxious to make this, see how it turned out. Like I had all this, uh, you know, laid out and ready to go last night. I did. I do have all my projects all laid out for this week, right? And that's what I did this week and also chose what I'm gonna do next few days on, on my lives. Actually, next couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm pretty much ready for the next couple of weeks. So it spins from here to here. Okay, that didn't look great. So here we go. So that's the petal. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pin it here. I think we'll need eight more or something. So I need to cut the mess. <clears throat> So I'm just going to put the petal in the flat side, not the folded side, the flat side. Yeah. So I, I, I do cut the bow. How much do I cut? One, two, three, four. About... I don't know, I leave, I leave about two inches in there. That's how much I could, just to make sure that I have enough when I put it in there. Yep. So, so, but I didn't cut this enough, but that, that won't be in the way, that's okay. So let's see how this looks, shall we? Yeah, we do need eight more. Okay, so I'll cut eight more 21 inch. Like I said, I didn't cut it ahead of time because I wasn't sure if I needed those eight and I didn't want to me waste and mess cutting it. Okay, so I just cut it with a... Um, Rotary cutter as I we're not gonna see the phrase anyway, so they'll be folded down. Okay. So we need eight. And one inch. That's one. Glad I caught you this time, loving the colors. Thank you, Myra. Hi, Ruth, how are you? Welcome. Thanks for joining. So I hope I have enough mesh, because I didn't, I don't know how much, I think I will. If not, we'll improvise. That's three. So th these ones are going to be funky when I fold them because they are they weren't flattened overnight, but I'll, I'll manage. Okay, so that's four. So I think I'll have enough here. Everything's just in the, in the way, even my 
tablet. Right. Here we go. My light is turned off here. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I think that's five. So three more. One more. Guess what I'm making, Ruth? <laughs> that one's pretty much gone. A flower, yes. <laughs> the kind, almost like the, almost the kind Lori made yesterday on her live. Sort of like that. So these are gonna roll up on you because they were in the inside the roll on the inner roll. So it's gonna be fun. But, okay, so I'm just gonna put them. Try to put them like that and like that. I need pins for this. I love this color. Yes, me too. But it's this color is a little um, see-through. I'm not sure what this color is called. Sky blue or something. I think I got it on Amazon. Or was it Canadian Craft Imports? Oh, I'm not sure. I forget. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the inner rows. That's why I had to flatten my mesh out last over the night, overnight. So you'll have trouble with them, but you you'll get them done. All you all you gotta do is pin them, and you'll get them. So a roly, roly, roly mesh. Something like that, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on the side. I'm having trouble with this one here. All right? Stretch it. And this on the other side. Stretch that one too. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's just the camera. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that's the, that's because of the camera. <laughs> do the others yeah these are just luck <laughs> uh, I said I should have just cut the whole whole roll and then uh, last night and flattened everything out my, my my son had to help me flatten out all the mess yes, last night Usually my stepdaughter helps me out with everything like that, but they're out visiting, so she's not here to help. So now my son helped me out with everything yesterday. <sighs> so good. I'm like starting to sweat here. That's better. Okay. So we don't need these. So I'll just take this and put it over like that. And scrunch. So there's, that's too fat. No. Yeah, good. 
Here we go. That's better. Something like that. Although it's a little fat, but it's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So how was everyone? How was your weekend, Ruth? Did you get a lot done yourself? How was everyone else's weekend? How was your weather? It's been snowing for us here the last couple of days. The last few days, I should say. See as they as they go out out of the outer roll, they get they uh, they are a little flatter. Those were the inside rolls that I was just, you know, using. Okay. Yep. So five more. Oh, rain and snowed. Peculiar weather we have in. I was looking over my pictures and we live we live right close to the river bank here, um, to the Mighty Peace River here. Um, and last year when the ice broke, it was April 20, I think, or was it 29? April 29, the, uh, the ice, was the ice break. So, a few, a couple more weeks and we won't have any ice breaks. Well, a few more. I even recorded it. I even went live last year when, when the ice break. It was during the day. Scary. The ice was just um, right up close to the bank here where we live. And it was scary, but I thought about packing up my bags. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of flooding last year, too, on uh, our side of uh, yeah, Mackenzie County and everything, so... Yeah, I hope it's it's a little better this year. I hope everyone's better prepared. Uh, if you have to work with the centerpieces of mess, it's easier to cut them in night. Yeah, that's what I did with the other ones there. But I, I, I uh, the first few ones that I put in, but um, I didn't. I just cut these. Um. I didn't uh, put anything heavy on them overnight. That's why I'm having trouble. But it's a good way to see what, if anybody's interested in making wreaths. And it's a good, a good le learning experience for you all here too. So, yeah. So I, I know about the mess, the inner roll mesh that's just, you know, curling up a lot. I know about that, but I didn't cut enough and laid anything heavy on them overnight. I should have. I'll know next time. I'm learning too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I hope my uh, people around the, the piece are a little prepared for, because there's usually, there was flooding last year. And I just hope they're prepared this year. My biggest fear is um, is for the, uh, see it's getting a little better as the uh, we go into the outer ro roll now. It's for the ice to go up on our uh, banks here and maybe knock over our, our 32 year old house. <laughs> I have a wild imagination, that would never happen. Parchment paper. Oh, how does that happen? How could how could that happen? Parchment paper. 
have to look into that. Maybe it's on YouTube. Like I, I use the parchment paper for uh, for my gaps and cracks patties. They work. They didn't. They didn't stick. Yeah, one more. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good way for us to visit here. That's don't get bored at me. <laughs> Yippers! You know my what, what my goal for uh, I reached my goal last week. Isn't that great? My goal was to uh, I didn't tell anybody about this. Huh? My goal was to go beyond five days a week, Monday to Friday once and then it happened right i was on monday to friday last week got that goal right done check and my goal for this week now all right linda no rest my goal for this week is to do a live once try to do a live because I like I said I get pretty busy here too so I'm not gonna promise anything but I'll try to go on live once Monday to Friday right and then um, the other one is uh, to do to at least to make uh, finish up two projects um, Monday and all through the week so that'll be three projects when I do a live too, right? So uh, a live and two projects. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. So that is my goal for this week. I'm telling you guys, cause uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I'll get it, probably get it done. If not, I'll, I'll do it in the, in the, in the weekend. Um, that's why I didn't go on this weekend. I had I, uh, I had a little celebration on my own. Because <laughs> I reached the goal I wanted to do. So it's pretty good. We weekly goals to set is, is, is good. If you read them, you can celebrate a little bit on the weekend. So I did by Ben's watching Smallville with my husband. <laughs> That's how I celebrated mine. And uh, um, also, uh, what else? Um, oh, I finished uh, the projects that were waiting to get finished since last year. Since last year. <laughs> Those were finished too. So I did get a, get a lot done last week now. I'm so happy and proud of myself. Yep. -er. Okay, I'm just putting zip ties in every set of holes on row four. That's what I'm doing, last one. The reason why I didn't fold the uh, the petals, the blue ones, as as exactly try to be exact as these ones right here, it's because they won't sew, right? Because the sign is huge, they won't sew as much. That's why it wasn't that perfect. Try to be align them perfectly, and plus I couldn't. I think I got this um, this um, mesh um, where oh, quite a while ago. I think it was like five bucks or something at a dollar store. That's why it's a little, you know, flimsy. Okay, I'll just adding the petals in there now. This is these big flowers are 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 fun to do. I mean, little little girls are it's fun little project for girls or 
even boys, they're just fun. And playing with the mess and using pins and they'd, they'd ha have fun. So I'm just adding the mesh in. I hope this mesh will be will be good coverage because um I did um ooh that looks nice. Did use up all the mess. I hope this is enough. I think it will be. Anybody else saying anything? Ironing. I don't iron my clothes too, or whatever. And um, I'm just adding the petals in there. I would have made these petals ahead of time too, but I want it to be uh, on here a little longer just to enjoy your company. Hi Don, how are you? Welcome. Glad to join. You can join on here. Ooh, those are looking so good. So big flowers are fun to do. Put Put that on your uh, to-do list for uh, flower wreaths. Sunflowers. Sunflowers would be so pretty. Like putting them all over your, uh, your house. Outdoors in the summer, in the spring, in the summer. And also a good project for kids. I bet you they'd get bored with folding the mesh this big though. Okay. So we put all the, uh... let me test out my zip tie gun. I never use this. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, so all uh, the uh, petals are in there now. Look, oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? A lily pad. Hmm. And I never thought of that. Yeah. Maybe put a frog in there, right? <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Another good idea, a good inspiring idea for you all, right? Yeah, look at that. So that's gonna be pretty. So I did go ahead and put the cable tie mount in there with my gel uh, Gorilla Glue. And there's a little um, hook thing up here. That's where I put the other, and then another one over here, just to make sure, because um, I don't know, I just like to be extra when it comes to tying down your, uh, so I'm just gonna, your signs. Just gonna find holes for these, right? The middle hole. Oh, there's, the, these are the older version boards, by the way. There's no middle holes here for me. So I'm just gonna go on the fifth row here and put the pipe cleaners on diagonally because I can, I think. Oh, I spoke too soon, I can't. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Right hole, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just I'll just put put it in just once in there. I'll hide these under. I'll put it in on later. 
White flower, big green frog. Yeah, there's a good idea for you, Denise. Good idea. Something fun. These flowers, though, they're so pretty. Is that, does that look good? Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that. It's too bad they don't have these. Oh, maybe they do. I didn't probably didn't look look on the right, in the right place for when I looked at decoexchange.com. White flower, big green. I have I have white in this too, and pink and yellow as well. Probably be making more off camera. White flower, big big green frog. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to stick those back in the holes. I'll uh, work on the back a little a little more. Wow, that looks good. This prob probably doesn't need the, but hanging zip tie. Wow, that's, that's pretty. So, 28 inches. Yeah, 28 inches wide. So when I take a picture, because my, my my door, my prop, I have a door over there where I take pictures and is, uh, I think, 30 inches wide. So when I take a picture, it's going to, it won't fit all on <laughs> that door, I don't think. But I'll probably take a picture on, on, on the wall or something. you another great idea for you guys I, I, I um I was just so I wanted to make one of these yes when I saw her make one yesterday and thought it looked fun and different and and I like big flowers so, so yeah so that did work out so I did I used 21 one roll of 21 inch mesh I'm not sure if it, it was even uh, 30 feet but I think it was, but I don't think so. Cause look, hmm, I wonder, I think it was a roll. I don't know. So one roll, I used one roll of the blue and uh, just stole the eight cuts of the uh, green. And this is how much I got left for the green. So I didn't use much. Yeah, so there's the, uh, I don't know what, what flower this is, but there's the flower. <laughs> so again, I got this idea from Lori yesterday, and I thought she had fun, and I had to try it. I I did make some of these uh, big flowers, but never on a live. So I so uh, I I winged it. So there's the back; it's clean, right? I just need to uh, glue put glue here and here. And there it is. Isn't it cool? Now you'll see how big it is when it's hung. I'll lift the camera up here. So, okay, here we go. There you have it. That's so pretty. I like that. Yeah. So it's fun to make uh, big, huge things on, on the Unique in the Creek boards too. It's big and fun with 21 inch mess, mess, mess. <laughs> Yipper, so that's what you can do with that. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I liked it. It's pretty. So any questions? Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Ruth. Thank you all. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Thanks for joining, you guys. Um, I'll, I'll come on again tomorrow. 
yeah so i'm not gonna say what time but i will come on tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow you guys have a good evening and i'll see you tomorrow if you don't have any questions no all right bye god bless you all smaga